You're unbelievable. You're unbelievable. Today's lesson is on friction. So what exactly is friction? It's something that we've talked a lot about, but never really truly defined very well. Friction is a force and that force always opposes the motion of an object. And it's always in the direction that is opposite of the motion, or the direction that the object should be moving. Uh, look at me as I am wakeboarding. You'll notice that as the boat starts to pull me up, I begin to accelerate. That's because the forces are unbalanced. The force of the boat pulling me up, um, that's pulling me forward, is more than the water that's pushing me backwards. But once I get up to the correct speed, the boat driver reduces the throttle, which reduces the force that is pulling me forward. Now, the boat's force pulling forward is the same as the water's frictional force pushing backwards, so I maintain a constant velocity. Now, there are lots of different types of forces in the world. Um, some of the examples are like a water friction, which is, you know, swimmers and dolphins and whales. We have air friction, anytime anything's moving through the air, like cars and airplanes and uh, anything else that moves and there's air around it. Um, those two things, we call those like a fluid friction because air and water are both considered fluids. There's another type of force that's called a rolling friction. So anything that has wheels that are moving, so like a car wheel or bikes or anything else that's rolling, like a stone rolling down the hill. Another type of friction would be a sliding friction, which involves pretty much any time there's two surfaces that are sliding against each other. Now there's lots and lots of different types of friction, but for our lesson, we're really just gonna focus on two main types of friction. The first type of friction is called static friction. That's if something is not moving, but it quote unquote should be. And what we mean by should is like this. If we have a ramp where there's a block sitting on the ramp, if it were frictionless, that block would slide down that ramp. But since there is friction, the block isn't moving. So we kind of say like, oh, it should move, but there's friction, so it doesn't. Same with, you know, trying to push an elephant or any other large object like refrigerators, things that are just not able to budge and they're stuck. That is called static friction. The other type of friction that we're going to talk about is the kinetic friction, which is a force of friction between two objects that are moving. So this would be like a snowboarder going down the hill, where the two objects are the snowboarder and the snow. And a little girl that's going down a slide, an airplane that's flying through the air, where the airplane is the one object and the air pushing against it is the other object. So we're really just going to talk about two different types. Static friction, something that's not moving, and kinetic friction, that's things that are moving. Friction only depends on two things. The first thing it depends on is how sticky or how rough a surface is. And the second thing it depends on is the amount of force that's pushing the two surfaces together. Now, since friction only depends on those two things, we get a really easy equation because the equation only involves those two variables, where the force of friction is equal to this Greek letter called mu times n where this little U shape, it, it kind of looks like a U, and it's called mu. It's called the coefficient of friction. That is just a number that represents how rough two surfaces are. And then N is the normal force. That's how much the two surfaces are pushing against each other. Now, the coefficient of friction is almost always less than one and more than zero. Very, very rarely will we ever have a number that's bigger than one. And it's a coefficient, which means it's unitless. It's just a number. Notice how for F, the units of force are newtons, and the units for a normal force are newtons. So mu is just a unitless number. It's just a coefficient to tell us how sticky the two surfaces are. So if the coefficient of friction is zero, then that means that there is no friction because the objects are not very sticky. And if the coefficient of friction is close to 1, that means it's a very, very sticky surface or very rough surface, and so it takes a lot of force to push against that. And that's going to be it for our lesson on friction. Um, go ahead. As soon as you're done with this, 
um, th this video, go on to the Online Homework Center and take the bell ringer or the, the quiz that is due before class next time. It's all listed on the class website, what you need to do, but make sure you do that right now, otherwise it'll be considered late. You're unbelievable. <laughs>